Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from MithraAutomation.com and welcome to another video for automating Flutter app with Flutter driver course. And in this video, we'll be talking about testing Flutter application with Flutter driver. All right, so let's get started. In our last video, we saw how we can create a Flutter application and we also understood how the main dot dot file plays a very key role for our application that we are actually running in. And we also saw there is something called as a test folder where it actually had a few test cases kind of stuff to perform some actions in here. And you can see that once I hit this run, it is gonna basically uh, run a very super simple unit test for me, as you can see in here. It's not gonna do anything on my emulator side, uh, at least in here, but rather it's gonna do the unit testing of our application that we have created in our previous video. So this is not the actual UI testing itself. It is basically the unit testing, which is being done by the developers. But the one which we are gonna be doing is not this test actually, but we are gonna be doing the UI testing. So for doing the UI testing, I'm gonna be creating a new folder uh, within in here. So I'm just gonna select this guy. I'm gonna call this as test underscore driver. And within this test underscore driver folder, I'm gonna be creating the uh, test cases that I'm gonna be writing. So here, I'm gonna create two files. One is the e2e underscore test dot dot, and another one is the e2e dot dot. So within this e2e underscore test dot dot, I'm gonna be writing the test cases, and in this e2e dot dot, I'm gonna be calling the actual application itself. So the calling actual application is nothing but I'm gonna be calling the run app of our application, which is gonna be calling the main function which is sitting within this particular uh, within this particular application that we have uh, created over here, right? So this is the main method that I need to be calling so that I can invoke the application which is gonna be running within my emulator over here and then I can perform an action. It is pretty much exactly the same idea which is used in Robotium as well as in Appium, and that's exactly what we are gonna be doing in here as well. So what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, within this particular E2E, I'm gonna start writing the code, but before that, I need to add the package for our test driver. So the package of our test driver is nothing but the flutter underscore driver as the dev dependency. And that's what we need to be adding in here. It's not the flutter underscore test. This is something which is used by the developers for their unit testing, but we are gonna be using the uh, UI testing. That's what we're gonna be uh, looking as well. So I'm just gonna change this to flutter underscore driver. And I'm gonna be uh, adding a test colon any flag so that I can run any of the test which is sitting uh, within that particular folder. Uh, right, so this indentation is required as well. So I'm just gonna save this. So once I save that, you can see that it is running a flutter package get command over here, and then it is gonna get the uh, flutter underscore driver within the packages over here. So you can see there was nothing called as a flutter underscore driver before, and once I did the get, you can see this file got changed, and now you have something called as flutter underscore driver as well, within this particular uh, location of my machine. So it has put that particular file and now the flutter underscore driver is sitting, which means I can now perform a flutter underscore driver operation over there. So this is what is the uh, actual installation of the flutter underscore driver or the flutter driver within your uh, test code. And now you can start using it. So if you go into the documentation of the flutter driver, so I'm just gonna search for flutter driver and this is the introduction they have. And you can see that they have mentioned exactly the same thing. Just add the flutter underscore driver dependency, create test files, instrument the app, which is what we'll be doing. And then we'll be writing the integration test and running the integration test. So you can see this is their application. They have added the flutter driver and then they, they have created the test files, pretty much exactly the one which we did as well. And then you can see that uh, they have instrumented the app, which is nothing but they're gonna create a main method. Within the main method, they're gonna enable the Flutter driver extension, and then they're gonna call the app.main. So you can see that uh, this is the uh, package that we need to be importing and we need to be calling, and then we'll be writing the test cases pretty much exactly this way. And you can see writing test cases 
what they have did is they called uh, a method called group within the group method uh, they have this uh, setup as well as tear down and then the test method and you can see this is pretty much like the describe and the it blocks of the test which is written in the mocha and that's exactly the same convention being used here as well so if you have an idea in the javascript or in cypress or in protractor we have used exactly the same idea while writing the scenarios and that's exactly it is so this is like describe which is the group and within in here you have the setup all and tear down all uh, for setting up the flutter driver to be connected and then you need to do a, a test which is nothing but the it block uh, to perform an operation here and you can see it's all a synchronous uh, that you're going to be doing and then you'll be running the flutter uh, app something like this this is exactly the same thing that we'll be doing as well so maybe i'm going to copy this code why not i'm going to go to the uh, e2e dart i'm going to paste this code in here and for sure this code is going to throw us an error the reason is because this is not counter app uh, this is the flutter underscore automation and the main dot dot remains same and these lines remain same as well because if I just uh, click this guy you can see it uh, takes me to the main dot dot file which is cool all right so this is legal right now and then we need to run the e2e test what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to copy this whole code and then I'm going to just cheat as if like I'm going to write the code I'm just going to copy paste everything in here and I'm just going to save this and if I run this code this code is actually going to work without any problem the reason is because this is exactly the same thing what it is doing so it is going to uh, get the text of the counter text finder so if you just go to the counter text finder you can see it is the counter and then uh, I'm going to perform uh, an action of incrementing the counter uh, and then I'm going to verify if the particular value exists there or not but you can see that now comes the identification thing like how it has been identifying the element of the UI it says find dot by value key so this is how in flutter driver things are actually working so if I hit find dot you can see what are the different way I can identify an element of an UI so basically I can identify an element using its semantic label using its tooltip or its type and by the value key so these are the only four ways that you can identify an element within from the UI of your flutter application and again if you compare the same with Appium or Cylindroid or Robotium or Xamarin.UI test you may be wondering that there are so many plenty of options available but in here there are very very few options and again that's kind of restricted as of now maybe the flutter driver is pretty new which is again so many limitations and again teams are actually working on releasing those things but as of now finger crossed those things may be resolved in upcoming days but these are the things which is the only thing that you have right now to perform an action within it and you can see these are the only library method available within the flutter driver to perform an action uh, within the ui element so this is how the elements are actually identified in the flutter driver i'm actually not going to go deep into how the elements are being identified and this is exactly the same code i've just copy pasted uh, from their documentation of the flutter team and uh, i'm just going to run this i'm just wondering if this particular code is going to run or not but in order to run this particular code all you have to do is this you're going to do flutter of flutter of driver or the flutter driver and then you're going to do something like target is equal to test underscore driver slash e2e dot dot so this e2e dot dot is in turn going to call the e2e underscore test dot dot to execute uh, the code for you so i have just did that and you can see that it is currently uh, resolving those dependency it has closed the app uninstalled it and installing it uh, and also it's gonna uh, run the whole command which does exist within the test cases so we'll just wait for the app to be launched and you can see that it is still waiting for uh, the code to be executed and as I said before as I doubted whether the code is actually gonna work uh, I don't really think the code is going to basically work because the by value key of counter 
or increment does not really exist in the main dot dot file so maybe the test is going to fail there you go the test uh, as expected actually failed and the second test is actually running and i still hopefully doubt that it's going to work and there you go the test got failed which is fine the reason is i did not really see the counter and the increment anywhere within uh, the main dart dart so you can see that the tooltip is actually increment and the text doesn't really exist anywhere in the key value pair of the uh, of the ui so that's the reason it's actually failing so now next video we'll see how we can fix this particular uh, issue and we'll also see how we can add few more scenarios and also we'll understand what are the different way of identifying the element with flutter driver and once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.